I present to you AI powered web application called AI Grammar Genius. This application is used to correct grammar and this is where we're going to input our text that we want to correct. And the result will be displayed over here. I'm going to provide some English with some grammatical error and let's see if the application will be able to correct that. So I will say, you eat yesterday and let's enhance that and let's see the result. As you can see, it says that the correct sentence is you ate yesterday. And we are going to use OpenAI and Node.js to build this application. With this one being said, let's get into code. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code and I'm going to use Codium AI to assist us for the code generation. And in case you want to have the same theme as I'm using, my theme is called Helium which is this one and I'm using eight icons as that. I have already created a folder called AI Grammar Corrector Application. So I'm going to open the terminal and start to initialize my projects as npm by using npm init dash dash yes to accept the default configuration. And let's go ahead and install the necessary packages we are going to install express for our server and node dash fetch for making the http request and dot env for managing our environment variables and ujs as our template engine i'm going to hit enter all right it is done so let me clear it and let's have the structure for application i'm going to have a folder called views and then inside we're going to have only one file for the html template as index.ujs and i'm going to have the .env file for our environment variables and lastly let's have the app.js we are going to use common js therefore we have to configure here by using type by saying module and then for the main entry point, we used what is called app. And this is all what we need for these configurations. It is time for us to create our server. So let's import the .env file as .env and then forward slash config. And import express from express and then import fetch from node fetch awesome and let's have instance of our app as const express and then the port is equal to 3000 so let's use the environment variable in case we have a port on that use it otherwise use 3000 or let me use 5000 for this one and let's configure our template engine by using app.set meaning that we are using ujs as our template engine and next step is that we have to pass incoming data from the user by using app.use and then I'm going to pass in supposed to be this pass in express.url encoded and I'm going to pass in extended to true and that is all what we need for our murderers. Next step is that we are going to render the individual template engines. The next step is that we are going to render the home page by using our template engine called UJS. So here is going to be app.get and use res.render and pass in the name of our template engine. In this case, it is called the index in our views folder. All right. So let's continue with that. Below here, we're going to start the server and it goes like this by passing in the port and then the callback function as that. So let's run this server, open the terminal and in here, we're going to use node dash dash watch. The name of the file is called app, which is this one. For this one, we don't need nodemon to automatically restart our server. So I'm going to start the server as that and it is running on port 5000. 
we can navigate into this by using localhost forward slash 5000 and we don't have any content on the template engine which is this one for the meantime let's scaffold by using this and i will say h1 welcome to ai grammar app or corrector and let me reload and we have the result as that don't worry we are going to use bootstrap and font awesome and to make our life easier i'm going to copy the template for you definitely the final source code will be provided we want to focus on the main logic so i'm going to paste that this is from bootstrap so after saving it let's reload and we have original text is not defined for the meantime let me correct or remove this one from here definitely we will get there very soon let me reload and this is what we have this is just a template now it is time for us to incorporate the actual logic and we are going to use OpenAI. So if you visit or if you search OpenAI platform, click on the first search result. And this is a homepage. Click on the documentation over here and make sure to have an account with OpenAI. For me, I have logged in. So let's look at the interface, how we are going to use OpenAI in our application. We have two ways, either by using the NPM package or by using their APIs. I prefer to use APIs because for this one, we don't need any package installation. So I will click on the APIs and that is the API reference. And in here we have the endpoint. What we want is the chat. So click on that and we have the endpoint for creating the chat completion and we need the message and then the model. All right, so for model, they have a lot of them, but the one that we are going to use, which is cheaper as compared to others, is called the GPT-4 mini. So let me get back to the overview here. And in here, we have meet the models. These are the current ones by the time of recording this video, GPT-40 and GPT-40 mini. And they are saying that this model is fast as compared to this for lightweight task. And as you can see, the cost involved, this one is much cheaper as compared to the 4.0. So we are going to use GPT 4.0 mini. So let's get into the API reference and then under the endpoint, click on the chart. And this is where we're going to use it in our application. And before continue, make sure to have an API key with them. So go to your profile and then click on the users keys, which is this one. And you can go ahead and create your own API key. I'm going to use AI grammar for this and make sure to use your own API keys. I'll copy that and then back to my project. I'm going to place it in the environment variable by saying that open AI dash key, which is equal to this. All right, so we are done with the configuration from open AI. We know the endpoint that we are going to use. Let me copy one more time, chat, and which is this one, copy the endpoint, and back to our project in the app here. Let me place the endpoint here. So let's go ahead and then add the endpoint for correcting the grammar as main logic route. And it's going to be as all right. And let's pass in the endpoint as correct. And then our callback function using async. And then I'm going to use arrow function, pass in rec and response. In the callback function here, we're going to access the text the user is providing and we can get it from the rec.body.text. And I want to trim the text by using trim on that. So in case the user is not providing any text, and that is if there is no text, we are going to return by saying that res.body.text. 
render and we're gonna render the template called index which is this one and we're gonna pass in some data to the template so whatever you pass in here will be available in the template so i will say error and by saying that please enter some text or let me use something like corrected text and let's pass in what is called the original text which can be found in the text and that is from the body then let me collapse this one and below here we know that the user is providing the text therefore let's bring in try and catch so here i will say const response is equal to await the fetch and then i'm gonna pass in the endpoint the endpoint is this one copy that and then place it in here as that as the second argument pass in an object and then the method and let's go ahead and authorize our endpoint using our api by saying that content type is json and authorization remove this one from here and from here and that is better process dot env dot we used what is called open ai key so replace with this one so below here we know that we have been authorized therefore let's bring in the body and then pass in our module name in this case it is called gpt40 mini so remove this one gpt40 dash mini all right and then for the messages it's going to be as row we're going to use system and then the content is going to be as you are a helpful assistant let me have some space in here we have the first object the second one is going to be a row as a user and then the content is going to be as correct the following text all right and then let's pass in these configurations as maximum tokens as max dash tokens this means the volume of your response the higher the token the more expensive is going to be so try to use less token depending on the nature of your application and then n is equal to one meaning that you want to return a single response and then stop is equal to now and then temperatures is equal to one you can read more about these arguments or parameters in the official documentation as you can see it takes in the let me get into the chat which is not this one supposed to be this one it takes in the message model frequency penalty and other properties as well below here we're gonna check in case we don't have the response by saying that response dot okay then we are going to render the template by saying that please try again and pass in the original text and below here we know that we have the response therefore we are going to await the response so i will say const is equal to data dot choices and access the first index and we have the response on message dot content if you lock the data you'll be able to access the actual response from the api and then in here rest dot render and we will say that the corrected and then the original text as that and then in the catch block here we are going to render it by passing in this message to the template so now in the template we have access to the following that is the corrected and then the original text so back here let me undo it and as you can see we are accessing the original text from the template now this is where we are going to display the result so it's going to be as ujs syntax by saying that if we have what is called the corrected text and it goes like this in case we have the text then we are going to display the text else we are going to display what is called please enter some text and make sure to close your uga syntax 
with this one being added save it and let's look at the form we are passing in here what is called the action the value for the action is going to be an endpoint that we are going to reference in this case it is called the app dot post forward slash correct meaning that when a user hit on the submit we are going to call this endpoint with this one being added let me check my terminal everything is fine let me reload i have an error and i think the error will be from the if statement here let's try to cross check again let me have some space in here i have closed that and this one yeah remove this one from here yeah good so let me reload and we have original text is not defined so let's get into the yeah we have to pass in the original text over here i start so this one will fix the issue and there we go so if i say you add tomorrow let's see and we got the results as you will eat tomorrow so guys here ends this project